last argument, a Hail Mary by the state. This is just before the jury goes out to begin their deliberations. Listen. You know, something else I don't understand. Your wife and your son have just been killed. And you're worried about having a lawyer around? I said, well, you know, just sled agents. We need to have a lawyer around. Really? My wife and son have just been butchered, and I'm worried about having a lawyer from the alibis that he's created, that he's doing. And he says, I went and ran. I got on my knees over here. Went and ran, and I tried to take the pulse of Paul. I'd still be on the ground, I'll give my son. And I, I tried to turn him over. I kept trying to check his pulse. Really? I went to Maggie, checked her pulse. And you can't do that in 20 seconds. Guys, you are hearing Attorney Metters as he is making that final plea to the jury. And when he was doing that, I think I've got Kelly Skeen back up, uh, Fox News uh, senior producer. When he was making that argument, Kelly, you could have heard a pin drop in the courtroom. And those are some of the last words from either side the jury heard. After that, all they heard was the judge's charges, and they began deliberations, Kelly. Yeah, Nancy, and we heard in closing arguments today from the prosecution, the directions to the jury was use common sense. This isn't complicated. There is one person that lied about not being at the murder scene. There, It was family weapons. There was gunshot residue. The facts don't lie here. And ultimately, the jury did find Alec Murdoch guilty. And from what I saw, he did not show much emotion when those charges were read. Guys, you're seeing behind Kelly what's happening at the courthouse right now. The defense team is just coming out of the courthouse. People are chasing them down, trying to speak to them. Um, so far, what we know is they are not giving any interviews. They're continuing on their way. They're trying to get the family out of the courthouse. But, uh, Christine, if you could play back, Lauren, if you could play back what we were seeing when the verdict went down and when they were taking Alex Murdoch out of the courtroom. For those of you just joining us, the verdict has been handed down by a Colleton County jury. Alex Murdoch guilty on all counts. He didn't seem surprised. No one in the courtroom seemed surprised. And the only really heartbreaking moment of any of this is right when you see Alex Murdoch walking out and his son, his only surviving son, is looking after him, looking after his father as he leaves the courtroom. Sentencing set for tomorrow morning. Cheryl McCollum, uh, the judge, of course, there's Buster who broke down in tears in the courtroom. Cheryl McCollum, the judge's hands are tied somewhat. He's facing 30 to life without parole behind bars, plus the two gun charges, and he is yet to answer up for all the financial crimes. Correct. Nancy, he will probably most likely get the 30 years life, you know, without parole. He's not going anywhere just on these crimes. Trial, mainly that he allegedly plagiarized and got kicked out of law school and his dad tried to pay to get him back in. But at the end of the day, Buster is a victim in all of this too. He lost his mom, he lost his brother, and now he's lost his father and he has left with basically the rest of his family to prop him up. And really now the fact that he has lost his father is at the hands of his own father. So his father destroyed Buster's life and his own. You know, Cheryl McCollum, there really seems to be right now no one representing Maggie and Paul. Right now, I'm sure Buster Murdoch is so distraught over losing his father. Um, I, I don't know if he can even consider who should be speaking up for Maggie and Paul right now. Because as I watch the courtroom, normally I would have the victim's family seated right behind me uh, prosecuting cases. But that wasn't true in this case. I don't believe we ever saw Maggie Murdoch's family in the courtroom. You know, Nancy, I think that's another reason you are so important and people like you. You have been speaking for Maggie and Paul from day one. 
and there's a lot of other people on that lawn who do the night that are doing the same thing. And I think that's what's critical here. They have a voice. They will continue to have a voice because they have advocates all over. And you, again, have been paramount with that fight. And I appreciate it. You know, Dr. Michelle Dupree joining us, who is joining us from here in South Carolina, medical examiner, pathologist, former detective, and author. Dr. Michelle Dupree, very often family members do not look at crime scene photos or autopsy photos because that's not the image they want.